In Activity 2, Magnetic Fields, students discuss magnetic fields and use tiny bits of iron to help them investigate this invisible phenomenon. They explore magnetic field patterns and then predict and observe the pattern created by the interaction of two magnetic fields. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 2, bar magnets, shaker vials with caps, and iron filings. You will also need to provide sheets of white paper. To prepare this activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student. Conduct this activity on a non-metal surface, such as a wood or plastic desk or table. Widen the holes in the vial caps by inserting a pencil tip and applying pressure. For each team, fill each shaker vial one-third full of iron filings. Each pair of students will need two bar magnets, two sheets of white paper, and a vial of iron filings. To begin the activity, divide the class into teams of two. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 2 and discuss the directions for the activity. Demonstrate Step 1 by placing a sheet of paper over a magnet, sprinkling the paper with iron filings, and then tapping the paper. Then, distribute the materials, calling students' attention to the N and S labels on each magnet. Allow time for the students to explore Step 1 on Activity Sheet 2 and the interaction between the magnet and the iron filings. Next, have each team complete the investigation described on the activity sheet. First, they will observe the patterns made by the iron filings when unlike poles are near each other. Have students pour the filings back into the vial, then repeat the procedure to observe the pattern when like poles are near each other. After the students have completed their activity sheets, explain that a force can be either a push or a pull. Ask the class, what is exerting force on the filings? How can you tell? Students should see that the magnets are exerting force by pushing or pulling the iron filings into lines. If the magnets are removed from beneath the paper and the paper is tapped again, the filings will scatter because they no longer have the force of the magnets to hold them in place. Explain that the pattern of filings maps out the invisible field lines that make up the magnetic field of the magnets. The magnetic field is the area around the magnet in which the magnetic force of the magnet acts. Next, initiate a discussion by asking students, what can you infer about field lines and magnetic fields? The students may state that the magnetic field appears to exist as invisible field lines. Even though the field lines are always present, they only become visible when the filings are added. Then ask students, do these lines seem to be concentrated in any particular area on the magnet? They will see that the field lines are closer together at the ends of the magnets and that the closer together the field lines are, the stronger the magnetic field. The magnetic field, therefore, is strongest at the magnet's ends. Next, point out the N and S markings on the bar magnets and ask students, what do these markings mean? If students do not know, explain that the ends of the magnets where the field lines are concentrated are called poles. Each magnet has one north pole and one south pole. Magnetic force is greatest at a magnet's poles. Go on to explain that repel is the opposite of attract. Objects that repel push each other apart. Ask students, how would you describe the field lines in the region between the two magnets, first when north and south poles face each other, and then when north and north or south and south poles face each other. When the magnets are placed so that the north pole of one magnet faces the south pole of the other magnet, the field lines between the magnets tend to join together. When the magnets are positioned south pole to south pole or north pole to north pole, the field lines between the two magnets do not join together. They curve away from or repel each other. Finally, ask students, what do these patterns indicate about which poles attract each other and which poles repel each other? They should conclude that these patterns indicate that unlike poles attract and like poles repel. To conclude the activity, return the iron filings to their original container and store the magnets and shaker vial in the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.